Thank you. Are you excited for your born and bred? Told him, get ready for the pancake. Fifteen minutes of race time. This is it. Epic conclusion to the summer heat. Going for the PR today, like the last race. We ain't going for the sub seventeen. That's not happening. We threw that dream out the window. But the PR is within striking distance. So we're gonna try and go at least seventeen forty-five or faster. Ryan has set that PR. Better morning than the other races. The other races were warmer. We got a nice breeze. I guess that's from the storm out there. Tropical depression, Fred. So thanks, Fred, for slightly light, lighter temps, but it's still gonna be humid. Gonna go do my last preparation. It's like 15 minutes till race time. Put on the racing singlet. Enjoy this sunrise. Look at that, sound that look nice. Enjoy this sunrise and we're gonna get after it today. So, here we go. number three is in the books man watermelon series has been a blast man 14 weeks done finito summer heat and we got an episode not for every week but for all 14 weeks so that's a big accomplishment uh today we did not hit a pr uh but we had a strong race um so sometimes you set expectations, you set goals, and you don't meet those goals. And then other times, you're still going to get, you know, benefits and uh, new gains from the work that you put in. So today I was short by a couple seconds from a PR today, but we got some really good work in this summer, um, heading now into marathon training. Just to recap the race uh, before I recap the, the entire series and talk about the Indianapolis uh, marathon buildup. Today, my game plan was to start around 3.30 to 3.33 um, and just try and hold pace. Uh, first race of the series, I went out way too hot at 3.23. The last race, I went out conservative, a little bit more conservative at like 3.34, and then I fell off in the middle. So this race wants to be more consistent. Uh, the first three splits, the first two splits of uh, kilometers, Per my watch was uh 330 so i had 330 and then 331 so 329 331 uh so it was like a 330 for the first kilometers and then i settled in at a 333 for the next two um but i didn't have enough kick to to, to finish out to get the pr um for the official time so official time was 1747 and we just missed the mark but man you can't you can't be mad at um uh, running in this heat and and you know giving up good effort and the legs felt strong the consistency was there the running economy has improved so i'm really excited for for marathon training just extending out uh some of the speed that i do have going into um this block so overall i was able to get first uh in my age group they didn't give out age group awards it was uh, the the awards were for first uh, male and female overall for the entire series uh, but for each age group they still put the standings up so I was able to get first in the age group um, so that's that's a win <clears throat> I did all three races so so that's a win and just for today's race 12th uh, overall nice field of runners a lot of fast runners a lot 
a lot of people going out there. A lot of people PR. Uh, a lot of people fought through the through the heat and the humidity and had excellent races. So it was a good day. It was a good day out there. Um, anything else from the race? Mm, no. Uh, other than that, uh, really happy with the effort. You can see the splits. You know, I got the splits up for y'all. And um, and then that's the official time. So other than that, we're going to wrap things up. This is actually the wall that I normally do the, the vlog at. So I'm going to get that set up to, to, to cap it up. Um, but I'm going to do that a little later. I'm going to get ready to knock out a, a work shift. And then we'll, we'll wrap it up. Summer heat. It's officially in the books. So I holla. Yeah, you see it. You see it. Fresh metal for the 5K series. Now, I want to just recap the entire series uh, for this entire journey for the 5K series. We had lofty goals. We had to adjust the goal. And we still didn't meet the next goal. It happens. Uh, so the, the lofty goal, the goal I actually set at the beginning of the year is to run a sub 17 minute 5K. Um, just too hot. The fitness just isn't there in this type of weather. And then uh, the goal turned into PR in, in the 5K, which would have been a 1745. And we just missed it by a second in this last 5K race. But overall, um, the 5K, each one got better progressively, uh, starting with the 1803, 1803 or 1805. And then with the, the second race, 1750. And then with this last race, this last race over the weekend, a 1746. I cannot talk right now, uh, but it's all good. So uh, really happy with the effort and the gains that has been made. Um, just working on strength and consistency. Coming into the summer block, I was coming off the plantar fasciitis and an ankle injury. Uh, so we didn't want to get too risky with increasing my mileage and um, just, you know, going too hard uh, this summer. But we got in a lot of great work, working on speed, working on turnover. And that's going to just translate into this next build for the Indianapolis Marathon. So uh, I grade my summer 5K, summer heat experience. I think I did well. I think I got a B plus because we, we went through the rigor. You know, I would have gave myself an A, but we didn't we didn't even hit the B goal. So it happens. There's lots of room for improvement. And I'm definitely looking forward to um, getting back out there, not only for another 5K before the end of the year, but also in a uh, another mile time trial because we did have the mile time trial where I didn't get five uh, under five on the segment. Uh, so we're going to redo that as well before we close out uh, 2021. But moving into the uh, Indianapolis um, build up that race, we're going to do 12 week build up. It's going to be a lot of tempos, a lot of long runs, just a lot of miles. It'll be the most mileage that I've ever done. Uh, my mileage has been uh, on on the on the lower side of the the marathon buildups, 40 maxing out in the 50s. So this time we'll max out in the 60s and uh, get a lot more longer runs, longer tempo runs in, uh, just to build the legs and to build the strength uh, to be able to hold the goal pace of running a, a sub three hour marathon. So it's going to be great. The big announcement is I will not be doing a 12 week series on the buildup. 40 Indianapolis Marathon. I might drop some random videos here or there, but all the content on that buildup will be on Instagram. So I'll post on there regularly like I typically always do. Just maybe just a little bit more, but there will be a YouTube vlog about the buildup for, for Indianapolis. It's just a lot of going in with more work putting into this building block and just some things going on with the fall. It's just too much going on. And unfortunately, I'm not going to dedicate that time to make a 12-week vlog uh, for the build-up. But as you know, CJ the Runner on Instagram, follow me on the Scrabble, uh, follow me on the Twitter, all the socials. I make sure those get put up, you know, what to do. And we'll go from there so that you can, you know, keep up with the journey and everything. So before I get up out of here, big shout out to, you know, everybody that was involved. Uh, with the Summer Heat Project. Uh, really proud that we did make it through this entire series, getting the videos out. We had the one double video, but we hit up every week uh, with updates 
on uh, what's been happening. So uh, that's a big win in the consistency, putting content out for me. Um, just shout out to, to family, shout out to Coach John, uh, shout out to everyone that has assisted and caught footage. So a uh, big shout out to, to, to Jordan, uh, Coach Jordan, because you know, she's certified and she's a strength trainer now, not only for me, but she can be your future strength trainer. So uh, make sure you guys um, hit her up uh, once she gets everything rolling with um, doing more coaching. Also, shout out to Pops in the episode with the Mild Time Try. He was out there uh, getting footage and, and filming and helping out. And shout out to the Lakers Runners Club for having the races. Um, just the community of runners, everybody on the gram that we interact with. We talk, we chop it up, we talk running. I can talk about running all day. You know how we do. We can talk about these numbers. And um, But yeah, really stoked to, to get into to marathon training. Waited a year uh, to do another race. Um, and now we're here for the block to, to, to turn up and, uh, see if we can, see if we can, uh, get this up three. So thank y'all again for tuning in. This ain't goodbye. It's just see you later. Holla.